This video is about vitamin D and COVID-19 misinformation. This just came across my desk today. Well, my email, I guess. It was from uh, Medscape. And so this is the week in review, and you can see right here, no evidence to support vitamin D for COVID-19. So first you should realize, if, if you've never listened to any of my videos on this, on, on inflammation and nutrition, is that to me, uh, the approach to taking supplements and eating properly is to improve biochemistry to create an anti-inflammatory state rather than treating a named condition, like in this case, COVID-19. So if you were to take this title and put it into your whatever browser you use, you and I use Google for this, you can see what I did here. I just pulled it exactly as it was listed in Medscape and you can see it has been picked up all over the place. So it's been picked up in the UK, UK again, UK again. Well this actually came out of the UK and of course Medscape in the US and then Medical News Today which I think is US as well and then Nutri Ingredients is in the US. So the um, it just gets spread it gets, it's absolutely unbelievable. So you should listen to titles of uh, these things. You should actually go and look and check it out. And it's so embarrassing. I'd, I'd be so embarrassed if I were these people. So you click right through from the email from Medscape, and you can see the title again. So uh, And you can see NICE is the UK National Institute for Health and Care Excellence. <laughs> So how much did they look at? They looked at 10 micrograms of vitamin D daily. So how many, how many, mil, how many international units I use? Because if you're in the U.S., uh, which is where most of the people listen to my videos, but also in the U.K., so I use. You should know the conversion between I use and 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 uh, micrograms. So if you look at uh, one milligram. So one milligram of vitamin D is 40,000 IUs. 40,000. 10 micrograms, 10 NS MCG, 10 micrograms is just 400 international units. So vitamin D scientists for, I probably learned about it for myself probably 15 years ago, is that a physiologic dose, so a supplemental dose that is physiological, that supports normal physiology, is 4,000 IUs, which is, of course, a hundred micrograms. So they used 400 IUs and said that vitamin D has no benefit. Now, again, for me, vitamin D is used to create an anti-inflammatory state or a deflame state, as, as I like to call it. So... If you give 400 IUs, 10 micrograms, you essentially didn't give people anything. So it should really say that, that I'm not sure how I'd modify this title, but basically, essentially, it could say, well, if you give nothing to people who have COVID-19, it won't help them. Because <laughs> that's what they did here. They gave them nothing. 400 IUs per day for a year is giving nothing in terms of the benefit that we're looking for. So this is a video I did back in February of this year. So if you want to watch this video, because you're already in my YouTube channel, obviously, you just click on Deflame Nutrition by Dr. David Seaman, and that will get you to the videos. And you can go back to February, and you can watch this video in its entirety. So here are here is the way to, to, to look at things if you take the Deflame approach. So here are markers of chronic inflammation. This is from a paper that I wrote that was published back in 2013. Right here you can see vitamin D is just one marker. So who is at risk for severe cases of COVID-19 where they get uh, respirators and potentially die? They are the people who have high glucose and who are obese. So if you give even 4,000 IUs to people with metabolic syndrome, diabetes, and if they are obese, odds of that having a measurable anti-inflammatory effect well, are pretty weak. But how would you know? Well, 
Here's how you know how flamed up somebody is. You find out what your C-reactive protein is, and you should be below 1. And I can tell you, the 25% of the, the adult, I think it's middle age, it's 30 to 60 years of age, population has, so 25% live in a constant state of CRP above 3. You want to be below 1. So to identify how inflamed or deflamed you are, you want to track all of these. So if you want to find out where I wrote this, you can just go right into PubMed. And you can go right into your, your Google search field and just put it right into the browser. Just put BMI pain. So just BMI, which is short for body mass index, BMI pain. And that should bring you to this paper directly. If you want to be absolutely sure, just put BMI pain semen and then this it will take you there. So if you like this, well, you're clearly looking at the YouTube channel, so you can you can subscribe there. You can follow D Flame posts on Facebook. You can check out the website. Here are the books that I've created. I'm busy finishing up right now as we speak. It's in review, and the cover is being made for a new D Flame book about immune health, and you can look at supplements as well.